Hey Tracy's Place fam, welcome back to the channel. Today I have an unboxing for you and also like a semi review, but I wanted to show you all the vacuum that I got. I got it from Amazon. Uh, it is a Bissell featherweight lightweight vacuum and I was in search of a good, well, two good vacuums actually. I still have to get a big house vacuum. So I'm just combing over reviews and just all that stuff. But uh, I found this one. This one had good reviews and a lot, I mean, a lot of people had bought it and said it was good. We have some tight spaces in our house and the big vacuum just will not fit. Like one example is um, where our bed is, where the door opens up on that wall. I wanted our the, my headboard centered on that wall. So I, on my side of the bed, it's tight getting over there. And I had to stretch the vacuum hose to get over there and try to get under my bed and in nooks and crannies and stuff. And then my dresser's over there and I don't want to scratch up my dresser and all that stuff with that big vacuum. So I said, let me look for something else. And this one was at a very reasonable price. It's, it's long, it has a handle and everything, but it detaches and you can use it as a handheld vacuum. So I should be able to get under my bed because under my bed our vacuum cannot even fit under there we have a low clearing space so i can only get like the holes under our bed and um yeah so i needed something like this and this detaches i don't know if you can see that but it detaches and become a handheld vacuum and so I wanted it for that. And then we have some other spaces in the house that's just tight. So, oh, and I can use this for my car. I'm, and I'm hoping it has strong suction. So I will let y'all know if it does, you know, have that or not. If not, I'll have to send it back. But I will let y'all know, like I said, if it has strong suction, because that's what I'm looking for. And, uh, you know, some handheld. So I'm going to unbox it, show you how to put it together. And um, also show you, I guess, what it sucks up. I think I can like detach, you know, open it up and show you how much whatever stuff I pick up. So I'll try to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and get it opened up. Okay, let me get it laid down here. Ooh. So comes with directions, a little user guide, and then a product registration card. So that's that. So here's the handle. Here's the foot. And then here is the vacuum card, the cord, and this is the little crevice attachment. So just a few pieces. Not hard at all. Let's go ahead get the plastic off. So you get that open. And you see right here where it has this longer part in the back. And you can see where it fits in right here. So you take that and you just put it in firmly and then snap it. And it's together. And then to attach the floor nozzle, the foot, it's called the floor nozzle in the booklet. And you just put it in and push it down firmly. And it's on. So it's all put together now. So it does not have a brush. Let me see if I can turn this around and show y'all without knocking everything over. So... Hopefully you can see that. It does not have a brush, so you don't get, have anything for hair and debris to get caught up in a brush. It has a suction here. And then it also has like the squeegee thing here. It's a tight seal. So it really picks up good. It's supposed to pick up good. So we'll see. But that's how it picks up. It's a good, strong suction, supposedly. No brush. And you know how a brush on a regular vacuum works? It's, the spinning brushes kind of make the debris in the deep carpet pop up. Okay, so the brush pops up the debris and then the suction of a vacuum pulls it up. But this just has suction. So we're gonna see how, how good it does. 
And then if you just want to use it as a handheld little vacuum, you just take it off and you just take off the handle and it's still corded. So this part works. Snap that closed and you put this Put that in like that and it gets in crevices real good. You can either use it without the crevice attachment or with the crevice attachment. This is really good for corners and stuff, but you can use it without it. All right, I'm going to put it back together and then I'm going to plug it up and show you all how to use it. So I'm going to use this on a high traffic area. This is one of the highest traffic areas in the house. This is coming up. The garage is down that way. So we come in this way. We're either turning this way and up the stairs. But a lot of times we're coming in this way and going in the kitchen. So I'm going to vacuum right here as my first test area and see what it gives me as far as dirt and debris. And then I will show you all what it picks up. So there is a decent sized cord on here, but it's not as long as the cord on a regular vacuum. It's about half the size, half the length. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this up and get it going. Um, I don't know how loud this is going to be for your camera or for you listening. So go ahead maybe and turn the volume down if you want. But I'm about to turn it on. Okay, so I'm going to take this apart. I think I just, whoop, yep, just have to take it off like that and see what the little trap, and I'll put the correct name of this, I guess it's the filter, and I will put it uh, down on the screen. But look at what it got. Look at what it picked up. Just imagine if shoes and stuff came up the steps. So that's not horrible. So that's what it picked up from right there. So that was pretty good. And then there's other dirt and debris that goes down in there. So you just have to empty that out. You can wipe it out too, I'd imagine. Okay, here's a better view. Not too bad. We didn't have too much there. And it had been quite a few days since it's been vacuumed right there. Make sure of that. So there's a few little crumbs of debris there. And then this. Okay, so I'm going to dump this out, clean this off. And, and then I took a napkin. Took a napkin and just wiped this off. That's all I did. So I'm going to put this fit it right back in like that and then it's good to go for another vacuum okay so this is the area or the space i have between my bed and my dresser and my dressing table or my makeup table uh let me show you how much room it is for me to scoot back so it's not a problem it's just three steps but getting a vacuum over here is no easy feat at all because my vacuum is like 14 and a half inches wide and um yeah it's it cannot fit through there at all so let's see what the little bissel featherweight can do and so you can see i'm going to turn around backwards and and vacuum backwards in. Might want to lower your volume because I'm about to turn the vacuum on. I am going to just show y'all what I got from over there as far as dirt and debris. And 
That's the little lint and stuff I got from over there. Lint, I got some hair and stuff. Ick, but that's what I got. And here's some of the, it's really not a lot of little pieces of debris that was over there. So last time I vacuumed over there, I guess I did a pretty decent job. So, but anyway, yeah, this is the lint and a little bit of hair from over there. And I'm about to empty this out. I'm going to use just this part, the base part for under the bed and tight spaces and the corners and stuff like that. With this little crevice attachment. So I remember to show y'all this time. So basically while it's all undone, I just empty it out like that. And then the little trap or filter or whatever. And that's how you clean it. Now you can deep clean it, of course, wash it or whatever, and the instructions will tell you how. But as far as just between vacuums, you just clean it like that. When you need a deep clean, you clean it like the instructions tell you. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to take it apart and basically use it as a dust buster. Y'all remember the dust buster? And it's basically kind of what this is. You just take it off. You just pull it and it's not real hard. It takes a little bit of pull, but it's not hard to pull. And you undo it here and you just open it up like that and pull the handle out. Snap that back together. And there you have it. Now, not all the time when I'm not doing deep cleaning, I do not move these cubes. I like to clean around these cubes and I'll use the little attachment on the big vacuum. But for this, I just attach it like this. Let's put that in and it's secure. Turn it on and you can get right up around here, right in between here, behind there next to the wall. So let me show you. And then I can get under the chest of drawers and it has a low clearance right there too, but on both sides, I can get up under there with this. And then this is what it got from up under there. So you want to always get up under your furniture because sometimes it goes a long time before people get up under their furniture. And you usually can tell, like, if you have to move or something like that, you can tell how often something has been cleaned when you move from one house to and you buy another property and you move. Oh, my goodness. The dust accumulates. And sometimes people don't think about cleaning under stuff because they think dirt, you know, don't get up under there for some reason. But dust and even debris you know, gets up under there. So got to keep it clean. Anyway, I'm about to clean this out and that's it. So in review, I really, really do like this vacuum. This is not a sponsored video, uh, but you can go down below and purchase this. Take my Amazon link and go there and get it. But I, this is not a review for the company or anything like that. I really purchased this for myself because I needed it for tight spaces and I needed something with a pretty decent suction. So I really like it. I would give it an eight and a half out of 10. And I give it that because that the only takeaway for me is that it doesn't have the roller. So I can't use it for, I can't, I won't say I can't use it. I can use it for the carpet as you saw downstairs and of course behind my bed and everything. Um, but it doesn't have that roller for a super deep, like clean cause the roller, it pops up, you know, stuff that's in ground in carpet with a decent, you know, greater carpet. So 
it's not going to get like deep, deep, deep in the fiber of your carpets. So, but I like it. It gets all the surface stuff up and even a little more. It sucks the stuff out of the carpet and it definitely gets the surface stuff up. But um, that's the only reason why I give it an eight and a half out of, an eight and a half or a nine out of 10. Because it has good suction. But like I said, it's just not going to get that deep, deep dirt out of it. So I really like it. And this is the handheld position. Really love that. So I can use, like I said, under my bed, under furniture, um, in my car, all that good stuff. And this corner thing, I really like that. Really, really like that. But I like the ease of which you can just assemble or disassemble it to. And you just... like that and then for the floor if you just want it in the upright position just like that and it is together super easy and it was only 30 I'm gonna put it right here I think it was 34 something it was, I'll, I'll put it right here but very good price and it weighs about five pounds possibly i'll try to put that here too i'll try to look up the weight it's super lightweight and i love that because getting up and down the stairs with that heavy vacuum even though i know i'm gonna have to do it because i still got to get the a house vacuum but i really love this for ease of use ease of assembly and getting in tight spaces and it has pretty decent suction so I really like it. I really would recommend it. And um, you can go down below in the description box below this video. It drops down and all a lot of information is down there, y'all. A lot of information. So go down there, click the Amazon link, go over there and purchase you one. All right. Y'all be blessed. Take a look around. If you are new, welcome. Love to have you. Would love to have you as part of the Tracy's Place family. So click that subscribe button. Click the notification bell. Every time I upload a video, you'll be notified right away. I do vlogs, how-to videos, cooking, baking videos. So I think there'll be something you'd like on the channel. All right. Y'all be blessed. See you next time right back here on Tracy's Place. Bye.